First up, I want to talk to our business mavens tonight. Why are all these corporate CEOs feel compelled to have their own election law policy statements? They think they're running the National Economic Council or something like that. For example, Delta's Ed Bastian seems to object to Georgia's new law that requires, in part, a photo ID for voting absentee. And yet, to fly on one of his Delta airplanes, you need to show a photo ID to board. Anyway, let's take this to cases. Fox Business contributor, FoxNews.com columnist Liz Peek is with us, and David Bonson, founder and managing partner of the Bonson Group. Now, Mr. Bonson, uh, apparently you have sold all your Coca-Cola stock because all this cancel culture woke stuff is getting on your nerves. Is that the case? Are you out of Coca-Cola because you're sick of all this nonsense? I'm out of Coca-Cola because what they're doing is hurting shareholders. Uh, I, I don't ever want to make a decision on a portfolio that is only because they're on my nerves, right? Otherwise, you know, let's face it, about half of corporate America would have to be eliminated these days. <laughs> but the truth is Coca-Cola did something, Larry, that I think people need to know about. It's not just all the silly stuff, cancel culture, and their role in this all-star game debacle. They put a, a mandate out to all the law firms that they deal with ordering specific quotas around all of the different normal types of categories you can imagine. They're threatening to fire law firms and accounting firms around all this woke stuff while they're in the middle of a $9 billion dispute with the IRS. Mm. This has profound implications for their future shareholder value and they're getting this other stuff in the way. That's not something we can allow to happen for our clients. Well, just to follow up before we get to Liz, I mean, Sounds like you're kind of saying, you know what, all this crazy woke stuff that's coming out of their mouths. By the way, no one really cares, I think, what their position is on so many of these issues. They're there to make money and create jobs. But that, in fact, all this crazy stuff maybe mirrors some crazy bad management decisions, which is costing shareholders and reducing profits. Is that like, you know, check one box bad and check the other box bad? Exactly. It's just that when you go over that second line, that's where I have to draw the line, right? As a fiduciary investment manager, you can't start doing things that are going to hurt shareholders. But there does seem to be a correlation between them getting all these woke issues wrong and then showing that disregard for shareholders. Plenty of other CEOs say the stuff. They put all kinds of silly things in their press releases, but I know they don't mean it. OK, I, I can deal with that. <laughs> it's just that when they actually take action, that's when that's when the virtue signaling becomes real. David Bonson, I just want to give you a tiny little bit here, 10 seconds or so. The economic crisis is over, right? It's over. You look at these numbers coming out. We're in a boom. We're in a boom if the government doesn't destroy it by taxing us and regulating us to death. You know what's ironic, Larry? There's only one metric I'm still worried about. Eight million people that haven't got their jobs back. But there's almost eight million jobs available. So what is keeping right. those jobs from getting filled? Government programs that are ill-designed. Extended unemployment. They're paying people to not work. The only problem we still have is government created. Uh, I will say to our viewers, Mr. Bonson, being a learned man, is citing the so-called JOLTS report that came out today, which in fact shows a lot of strength. There are a lot of jobs open and there are barriers and we're going to have to fill in the jobs. There's no question. But the employment markets are going to soar if we don't mess with them. OK, Liz Peake, thank you. David Bonson, much obliged. Appreciate it.